Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you how I made my really cool new wings. I don't really know what I made them for, I just wanted some wings. At some point I'm going to make some white ones, but for now we just have the fancy schmancy little black ones that I'm doing. I have some ideas for photos, but otherwise I just, I've always wanted wings, so I wanted to make them. And here's how I did it. So first things first, big shout out to my friend Shay. You can follow them at Shay Strife on Instagram and TikTok. They were the one who told me how to do this. And this is all based on their method of making their own wings that they did for their Asuna cosplay. I purchased a set of the red ruby dragon wings off Amazon. They were around $35. And because they were red and I really wanted black, I just purchased some fabric paint and painted the entire thing front and back with at least two layers of paint. It bleeds through a little bit, so make sure when you're doing it to have like wax paper down underneath it. It will stick, so you do need to go back and add a little bit of extra paint on the side where it sticks to the wax paper. After that came the arduous task of hot gluing all of the feathers to both sides. This was definitely very difficult, especially without having like a massive counter space to just lay the whole thing out. I did at one point actually wind up putting it on a mannequin so that I could have the wings sitting so I could see exactly how they look in order for the, the feathers to fold so I could see where maybe there were gaps so I could add extras in. This is a long process. Be very careful. My hot glue gun is not one that I have to worry about with getting burns, but just if you have one of the hot glue guns that will melt your skin off, please make sure to be careful with this because you're going to get hot glue all over yourself. One tip that I recommend when you're making these is to secure whatever it is that you're gluing down on top and underneath the item. So like with my feathers, the main thing that I did is that I glued them down and then I went back over with more hot glue to secure the quills because I didn't want them to come off. Like you really would basically have to rip the wing in order to get these feathers off. I didn't want them to fall. Yes, it adds more weight, but it makes it more secure. I personally really wanted to have more of a mature wing. I wanted something that had like the big, beautiful primary feathers. So I will again link all of the feathers that I purchased off Amazon down below in the comments. You can do the same thing with this if you wanted to add foam to it or if you wanted to add fabric. The only thing is, is that you have to keep in mind that the hot glue and whatever else you're attaching is going to add weight, which will make it a little bit more difficult for the wings themselves to open. I slowly worked my way through different layers with a thicker layer of feathers on the bottom and then slowly adding more in as I completed each layer to fill it all in. At the very top, in order to create more of a fluff, I used fluffy downy feathers for the very top of it and I kind of used those to pad some of the inner parts that needed a little bit extra filling just to have more feather effect. But for the most part, I try to use these more primary feathers for the majority of my wings, front and back. Thanks for watching. As I mentioned before, all the links for everything will be down below in the description, so feel free to look there if you need to know where anything is. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.